Hello, hello, class of 2023. I am jumping on here to go over how to fill out your card with Cami. Um, I just clicked on the card from the Google Classroom, so that's your obviously first step, and it should pull up a screen like that looks like this. At the top of your screen, it will tell you to open with. So you want to open with Cami, annotate with Cami. If you haven't downloaded Cami, you can do so. You can just Google it and then um, download it to your computer um, with your school account. You have access to that. Or if you have any other program, you could use um, a PDF um, Lumen um, to fill this out. Really, we just want it so that we can see it on our end. But I wanted to do a quick little tutorial on how to annotate with Cami. So I'm going to click it as with Cami and it will pull it up on my screen here. And here we go. So I'm actually gonna move my face <laughs> to this side of the screen since um, all of my tools are on the left-hand side. Okay, so to start, you need text box to enter in your information. Right now the text box is clicked. It has the size, you can change it. I can put 16 if I want it bigger. I can do whatever color font I want. So for now I will do, how about purple since we're Brahmas. All right. So my last name here, I'm going to just put Brahma. We like to use Billy the Brahma. Um, first name, you just double click over here and um, you can keep using it. It'll, it'll save whatever size you're using and whatever font you're using. So we'll do Billy Brahma, middle name, G. I don't know. We'll just put in middle initial. Student ID number, we can still keep the text box. So you're going to double click there and put your ID number. Um, screen for phone number, you double click in that space there, 999, that's number. And then if you wanted to move it and drag it down, you can do that and double click your student cell phone number. So these are numbers that we um, can get a hold of you in the summertime. Um, if we have questions about your schedule or if there's a conflict, we would be using this number there. And then Billy Brahma, his last name is a B, so he falls under Mr. Gonzalez's side. Well, I can't use my text box there. I need to find a shape. So I'm going to click on the shapes, and here's the different shapes that I can use. So I will use a circle to be a circle Mr. Gonzalez's name, and it looks like I'm highlighted in red. You can change the colors of your circle here as well. So Mr. Gonzalez. And then over to the right here, we want to make sure that we are signing um, with our parents um, present. So we can use the signature link down here. Click on the signature link. And the signature from mom and or dad or guardian and from you just means that everyone is on board with the classes that you are that you are doing. So there's different options. Your signature, I'm gonna draw my signature. I'm using a mouse to do it. You can do it, I think, on your screen here. Um, but I'm gonna use my mouse, and so I'm gonna be Billy, Billy Brahma. This isn't too pretty, but it is getting the job done. We are gonna upload Billy Brahma. I'm going to use that, click that, and you just click insert. So you're going to drop it where you want it. So I'm going to click where I want it right there. And there I am, Billy Brahma. Now I need to put my date in. So the text box over here, and you just click there. So I have the text box and today is 223. Pretty easy um, to use. And again, I need another signature. So mom or dad signature, or your guardian, you're gonna click the signature button here. And you're gonna do the same thing where you draw your signature. I will draw a new one, so just for the sake of it. And we know, what is this, mom, is it mommy Brahma? <laughs> um, we know that this is not going to necessarily match your signatures that you guys sign your cards in the summertime, but we are using the honor system that you are talking this over with your parents and doing your card with them so that they approve all of the classes you're taking. So I'm going to use my text box again over here, and I want to get uh, the date there to 23-21. Okay, so summer school. Am I in any summer school class? Let's say that I'm going to get music appreciation, so I can write that. Music appreciation. I lucked out and got one of the free classes this summer from my BPA. All right. So are you requesting a no class period zero? So do I want to go one through six, or do I want to go zero through five. Well, I want to go one through six because I am not a morning person. 
and I want to take AP science. So I don't know if that's going to start at 7.30 or go to um, uh, 3.30. So I want to take an AP bio, AP chemistry. That's what I think I'm going to take. So I definitely want to go one through six. So here we go. So I'm going to circle again. I will use the circle this time. I'm going to use a purple one as well. And I'm going to just circle right here, one through six. You just kind of drag it over with your cursor and there you go. Now I'm going to keep my circles because I'm going to go through and I'm going to circle all the classes that I'm going to take. So this year I'm going to take regular English, right? So you literally just click, hold and open that up and it's done. I'm going to take American history. I'm in algebra two right now. So I'm going to take trig math analysis. I am going to take AP biology. So I'm going to circle AP bio. Now it says down here, if you have an AP science course, you need an alternate, right? So you got to get that text box back, double click. And if I don't get AP bio, I'm going to do AP chemistry. Oh, capitalized. Chemistry, and then the course number is right above there. You don't have to use your number sheet, but there you are, thirteen twenty nine. And so that is my backup for my science class. And remember, if you're taking AP Bio, AP Chemistry, you cannot have a zero period. So you want to make sure you double click the one through six. Okay, second page. We'll keep that text box open because now we have our elective. Well, I'm going to definitely do a foreign language. So I'm going to sign up for, let's say, Spanish 3. And then I'm going to look at my course number sheet, which I should have here in front of me. Ooh, ooh. Um, <clears throat> all right, Spanish 3 is and i'm going to look at my course number sheet here right that you guys were able to um look at on the computer and that is 1747 1747 i do not need a backup for a foreign language i don't need an alternate so any of your foreign language class or if you've made a list if you're in peer counseling or yearbook or something like that you should out you don't need a backup you will get that class and i am going to say that i am going to be in the uh wind ensemble wind ensemble and that is going to be my sixth class and i am going to put that in as i think it is 1079. so you look it up on your course numbers you think i would have these numbers memorized by now wind ensemble is 1079 so i think it was all right so 1079. If you're in marching band as well, you can click here and you can add the number so you can put wind ensemble. And if you need marching band for the semester and as your PE credit, you can add the number on the same line. So wind ensemble, and then I'm gonna add marching band number to this, which is 10. And that is it. That's seriously how easy it is. Now, after you do this, you are going to click um, uh, save right because you want to save it to your documents and then you're you're going to end up sharing it with after you save it you're going to upload it to your google classroom okay i hope that was helpful i hope that it was easy enough to use um if you have any questions you guys again can jump on on friday at 1 10 to our tutorial and if you still have questions after that definitely send us an email all righty thank you thank you